my first uh, girlfriend Diana <laughs> who vocalized me a little bit showed me how vocalization works uh, she recommended me to the teacher Maestro Peña Manuel Peña who I named my Peña well I don't name him this way I wrote that in my booklet to make a chore and she had great respect to him she vocalized me I don't know that's pretty stupid when you start it's really wrong I didn't know and that's too many of notes and it's too wide of a range when you don't have the notes yet and then uh, what continue no There's a technique involved. Okay, in the beginning you just have to throw it out there, but now it's a technique. Wait. <clears throat> no. Yeah, welcome to Strange and Home Sitting like this. No. It has to go over, it has to go up and over. It goes to a place and it goes up. If you don't do it, you're gonna hurt your voice and you're not gonna have a good time. No, 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 no. <clears throat> no. Oh, baby, you bring me so high up. Oh, baby, you bring me so high up. You bring me to the D. Oh, D. Oh, D. Oh, D. oh baby, D. Did you hurt my baby? I did the G. D, baby, you bring me so high up. D. <laughs> I'm with your heavy metal. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the heavy metal which brought me up and made me lose my inhibitions. <laughs> your heavy metal. <laughs> I heard it. Oh, it was the queen, I know. <laughs> the queen. It was a bohemian. You know, when you. I never ever anything is the same as previous. Rhapsody, oh my god, I had the Rhapsody and I just did it with you, I mean, I'm the queen, and you put your heavy metal on me, and I just did it with you, I did it, and then I went up, and I thought, really, and I looked it up, is that the D I just sang, yeah, so then I went to the bathroom, and I sang the vocalise, and I came back, and vocalise, I just looked it up, you brought me high up to the D, with your methods, which of course is also my method, well, I let loose, like I said. Just do it. Go up there and do it. High up. Don't think about it. Well, it's too loud. <laughs> Quiet, quality, 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 little voice. No. <clears throat> that was nothing to do with the tiny little soprano voice from the doll. That was a heavy, strategically amazingly voice positioned. Well, it felt so great. I can continue doing so. But I, of course, it's technique, right? I was told I can sing one more, a half note up, and that's all, that's all. I feel so safe right now. I could stay there forever, with you high up in my D. <laughs> you high up in my D, my D, the... I need a necklace right now, it says a D. What did I saw? A smelly radio gummy, wait. Don't they smell horrible? Was it a smiley face? You think I don't look? Usually I'm focused on the eyes. Because the eyes say, say all to me. Most of the time. Forever and ever. Then can I have a kiss? That was special. That was just to look at my body. And I looked, wow. Looked like a butterfly. <laughs> Thank you, I feel so encouraged and I feel so strengthened right now. You're joking, right? You want me to say this right now in this beautiful moment we have? Bulgarize it, okay. The bird has landed. Yeah, it's like these movies, right? They always say the same thing in gold. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you.
Of course I can do that again. This time I would do it smaller and then I could do the next note too. I was in the middle of a sentence, right? So Diana had very much reverence for my pina, and she made me see that. She said, now you're gonna go with, this, with the real vocal teacher, with the real singing teacher, with the eminence. That's how it felt. Yeah, she used a few of the words, but not, not, not the E word. And that was nice. No, she was also upset with me, not with herself. Okay, she was, she got upset and angry in the lesson with me. And then she set me with my pena. She kicked me out. But it was just the right time. Why did she get upset? Okay, because when you sing these notes, it's very scary in the beginning. Sing high notes is very frightening for a singer. So that was my first, you know, what was it? My first time I actually vocalized with her. And she did too many high notes, I say. But then again, it didn't hurt me. So she would sing with me. Every time. She would just do it with me. She would vocalize with me. We would do it together. And then she started to talk to me about the horse and her husband and, you know, horrible things. Do you want me to talk about that? And she stopped going with me. She, she, she stopped and she left me alone. And then... I don't know what she said, and I said, you left me alone, and then she said, no, I didn't. Oh, that's what it was. You left me alone, I said, and she said, no, I didn't, and she got all upset, took it personally, and that was it. Okay, so she had a thing. The thing is also with the high notes, that they liberate stuff in your body and in your psyche and your mind, so... Well, I, I focus upon it later in order to sing, but in her... She had a beautiful voice. Yeah, a thin soprano voice. And and she was spiritual too. I liked it very much. So she started talking to me about a lot of things. She had these insights. Okay, so I don't drink alcohol. Or did not. But there was a cocktail on a Friday. From Shigeko, Los Amigos de la Musica. And I had one or two cognacs one of those you know concerts that was like a unique occasion and on monday i had my lesson and suddenly she looked up from the piano and told me no that was a private event she told me um don't drink hard alcohol because the voice is going to turn aguardentosa meaning it's going to sound like you know someone who drinks and I was just wondering, because like in my whole life, no, I had had that before, like maybe years before, somewhere else. I didn't even live in Cuernavaca. But how could she know? Like she knew. Yeah, and another time, she, she said something else, which was like on the nail. Out of nowhere, I never talked to her about anything what I did. That was pretty impressive. So this time, what did she say? Oh, I was I was going out with Adriano. I mean, and she, and Adriano maybe maybe he put his eye on me, you know, to explore his sexuality, <laughs> despite his fetishism. So maybe he just began to talk to me about it or something. Then she looked up and she said, "Make sure that you don't get pregnant." And that was pretty impressive because, I mean, that was like the one moment where maybe the subject popped up in my head because maybe Adriano told me about his fetishism, that I even thought about sexuality. Stuff like that she would pull out. No, I think that was it. But she lived in a different vibration somehow. But she told me that my husband was someone who mattered in Veracruz and that um, politicians would come to the, her house and they, they would ask her for advice because she was like clairvoyant or so constantly because she would see stuff and she's serious, not her mother not Tama Hayek, but she was yeah, her mother's a stupid hag, horrible person no, I, I met her a few times, not just once
Jana told me not to use lotions to my face. Well, to me, she looked super, her skin looked like a baby skin at the time. And she was, yeah, already old. And Tama was 26 or something. So she told me not to use lotions and especially nothing at night time. And she also told me to wash my face with oatmeal at night time, which I did a long time. I would grind the oatmeal in the bender and I felt really good. I liked that a lot. And don't put anything on, on your skin, she said. And that makes a lot of sense today because you know what happens, right? But I never liked those anyways. I never had money. So I wasn't really into I hadn't really thought about skin creams before that at all. For my body, yes, because I always had like dry skin after shower. Yeah, because of all that chlorine, but I had never used anything for my face. So she also told me that her mother would make these lotions. So she sent me over to her mother. And I bought the lotions and I saw a little bit. And that's why I saw her a few times because I went to buy my face lotion. I don't say, I don't think it was good. I think it was just a waste of time, honestly. But then again, whatever. But the, I think the important part is that I didn't use any dumb lotions from like, from the from these factories. No, that was much later that I tried out something like, because I suddenly thought I had to. Natural, very natural. And that was not from the, that could, you couldn't buy that in it. That was like, what's the name? I forgot. I had to order it, mail order it. If I would buy anything at that warehouse, it would be clinic. Because I heard it wasn't more natural. And it was only because I used to have Rimal mascara in my eye and of course it, it had to be waterproof otherwise it just falls on your cheek so in order to take that off that's all yeah this time he gave me a package like a little wood care package a little sampler i used it but i wasn't really interested in it i don't remember the name i had to think about it I, that was like i ordered it to mexico that's right and then I continued doing it when I went to America. I remember because I had to ask for permission, imagine that. That went on for a while. So here's what, here's what um, do you want me to say it? So Diana was, and uh, uh, the, why did she went upset in her vocalization? <clears throat> now she gave me the solo roles right away. She gave me one and then she gave me the other one to sing. Maybe she did the concert because I was there. So she would talk to me about her husband being such a sleaze bug and that uh, she said that she was traumatized with horses because horses had, I don't know if she said it directly, large penises and that she just by the sight of it she would like feel very traumatized and then she would also say that um, that her husband would just fuck everything that was in the house, every maid and they probably had a few of those they would just go and fuck every woman who passed by. So she, I think, became asexual because she couldn't handle it anymore. And when I said, you left me alone, I mean, I think Salma was raped by her father, probably frequently. And that's why she's such a whore, because he was such a horrible person. A Hayek, it's, it's just an Arab last name. Her, her last name is Jimenez, Diana Jimenez. But I think it's her real name. Or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's least back. Mexicans have them too. So that when I said, you left me alone, that that triggered on her the thing that she felt guilty because she had left her daughter alone. And the hardship, and that made her feel really bad. So that, that was the trigger. I don't have any hard feelings with Diana. At all. Something that was, was, she had invited me and she showed me also that she would drink almond milk. Well, she would show me how to do it. She, she invited me to her kitchen. That was a big step for a person like her <clears throat> who had like this societal thing going on with letting people wait for 15 minutes just to make sure that she is the, you know, the owner of the house. She would show me her kitchen. No, of course she had people who worked there and the house was too large for her. But that lady needed that. 
No, she would soak the almonds, she said, overnight in the blender with water. And then, I don't know if she would take the skin off. I don't remember. Probably yes. And then she would blend the almonds. And that would be her, you know, good thing to have. I think I did that too for a while. Yeah, she treated me like a girlfriend. I was super sad. I remember this large house and in the garage. In the front, she had a, an apartment, which was empty. I don't know. I toyed with the idea with, in my dreams because I was, that was when, when, when I was, yeah, it felt like I was kicked out of the foundation when I hadn't been paid and I kind of wanted to go. So I toyed with the idea for just a second in my head because she told me about that apartment. If I could just have a tiny spot for myself, no one would bother me and no one, no, I wouldn't feel scared anymore and hurting anymore and always insecure what's going to happen the next step. Because that's my, that was my life for four years in the foundation. And the first year was all new, so I had to figure and still finish up other studies. But that would not have made any sense. I don't know. It just didn't, didn't make any sense. No, I never told her. Why would I say that? No, no, no. So that was that. And then she endorsed me, and that was really nice. And then I went with my Pena. And I don't think I saw her again. Yes, she did accuse me of course she denied it. I don't know, I don't think I had it recorded then. I did not start a recording, but I don't I don't argue. She denied that she let me alone, but she did. She made an it doesn't matter. I felt accused wrongly and I felt that her emotional response was inadequate and inappropriate and I was mean. <laughs> on the other hand, I, I don't dwell on it, so now we know. At the time I didn't know. Today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap. That email? I took a nap. Zoom call? I took a nap. What about your lunch plan? I took a nap. House chores? I took a nap. Home workout? I took a nap. Bath time? I took a nap. What about the egg geese? I made time for that. The end of this chorus? I took a nap. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't, I don't even, even know, know where I am. I don't even know where I am. I don't even know where I am. I don't even know where I am. Cold cream soup tastes cocoa roco. Want me your wife, but she is. Mm, mm, mm. Let her long, long. You're all, you're all from. And let her.